All right, I'm not going to get bogged down here. I'm not going to get bogged down here. Anyway, <laughs> um, all right, next, uh, Penn State versus Arkansas, the Outback Bowl from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Um, Arkansas winning this one pretty big, 24 to 10. So SEC showing up <laughs> uh, in a game outside of the semifinals. Um, so uh, I got two points for that. Um, yeah, both both these teams, like in the first half, were struggling to get things going. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arkansas apparently was ready to play in the second half, though, um, and they scored 17 points to Penn, Penn State's zero. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like another great performance. And, and how about that Razorback defense, you know, uh, Barry Odom uh, getting them ready, shutting them out in the second half. Uh, what a turnaround for Arkansas, guys. Like in 2020, they went three and seven. And then this year they finished nine and four, their first nine win wow. season uh, since 2011. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, what, what, a, what a turnaround. And honestly, I can't remember who went first last time. So who wants to go? Who wants to go first? Jesse can take it. Go for it. Oh, uh, okay. Um, no, I mean, KJ Jefferson had his streak of 171 consecutive passes without an interception end um, on his second throw of the game when Jair, I hope I'm saying his name right, Jair Brown picked off, like I said, the second throw in the first quarter. Uh, Jair Brown finished with two interceptions, and the Penn State defensive end Smith Vilbert had three sacks on Jefferson. Um, Arkansas safety Joe Foucha had an interception in the end zone and a sack during the second half. So a lot was happening, um, a lot of turnovers, as we can see, two for Penn State, two for Arkansas, but tons of yards um, offensively. Arkansas was 451. So it's like you said, it truly is that sort of Cinderella story. I mean, they weren't in uh, the top four, but by no means does that put any shade on on how cool this story is. I mean, Sam Pittman, what a coach. And I have to bring it up again because I brought it up with Coach Leach. But when you get to these bowl games, I think there's a lot of reasons that coaches may not want to play in them, right? We have people sitting out because of NFL. We have people going to the transfer portal. We also have people, injuries, COVID, all of that is happening. Um, And these guys are not necessarily required to play this game. And I think some of the coaches take advantage of that. But uh, Coach Pittman said, we need to thank Penn State. Penn State had a lot of guys go to the NFL and Coach Franklin elected to play the game. I respect that big time. So it sounds to me, as the second coach that's talking about this for a different reason, that there is some options to bow out of the game. um, And there are coaches that refuse to do it. And then there are those that don't. And I know we'll get there, but I'm just starting to tee it up. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Uh, Matt, your your thoughts on this one? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the Sam Pittman imitation out of the way. Yes, sir! Um, yeah, nine wins. Uh, you know, this was a special Arkansas team. Um, Pitt, I remember when Pittman got hired, all of us were like, the old line coach from Georgia? <laughs> like, he, he's not even been a coordinator, and you're going to hire the old line coach for Georgia? Okay, Arkansas. I guess y'all are putting all your money into basketball. Um <laughs> But apparently we were wrong because old Sam Pittman's turned out to be a pretty good football coach. Um, so, I mean, kudos to him. Uh, Penn State kind of faltered there towards the end of the season. Um, but, I mean, that's still a – I hate to say this – a quality Big Ten team. Um, but, again, I, I think it's the little feather in the cap of the uh, Arkansas season. You know, you, you can't – shuffle your nose at, at a nine win season you just can't especially when you play in the hardest conference in the country so mm-hmm. yeah that's all i got to say about that yeah no it's it's a great story <laughs> um really really happy for sam it's so such a cool thing um, 353 yards of rushing is a lot though yes <laughs> it's a lot that's so, um there's, there's there's that that's uh, dictating your will. <laughs> uh, that means the hog mollies down in the trenches were pushing people around a lot. Mm-hmm. 